Hi Cubers. Well, as you know from the previous video, I got given a few uh, computer parts and accessories. So, uh, as I have no idea if they work, I thought I'd make a little video checking them out. So, uh, I think I'll start doing the uh, two memory sticks and the uh, video card because I can do those in one go. So, uh, put the video card in. Take the existing card out, I'll put that up there so I don't get them confused. Now I'm going to put the uh, 512 megabyte card in, I think that's what that means. Yes, 512 meg. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll test both sticks separately. So, we already know this PC works. Better just plug the VGA in and the video card before I forget. So, I'll turn it on and see what happens. And there's no dead memory beep, and the video card works so far. Glad I turned this on, because guess what I left inside the drawer? The DVD drawer. No, CD drawer. If it's going to reject. Ah. Why has it done that? Oh, I've been a bit of a dumbass. I forgot I haven't installed uh, Windows on this machine because I haven't got a hard drive. But uh, well, that doesn't really matter. I only want to know if the video card worked and the memory, and uh, we have our answer. So I can go ahead and turn off. I've just got to reset itself. I need to do that. So, one more stick of memory to check. So, one good video card. Right. This one, and we'll see if we get the uh, dead RAM loop, shall we? Do it every time when I turn it off at the back. Yeah, that's a good stick as well, but I haven't got a clue how big it is. And let's just do it like that. Right, well, that's a good sign. So that off. And we can move on to our little pile of fans. Right. Let's put tripod legs out and make some room. I'm as organised as ever. Not. Okay. So you're in shot. Got a very vocal kitty in the background again for some reason. Oh, his dish is empty, so that's probably what he's wanting. Oh well. I'll wait a few minutes. So, I'm going to use this power pad to test the fans. Because I can, for one, test more than one fan at a time. And two, I don't have to keep turning the computer off to. Well, because I'm not going to damage anything. 
in theory. So, put this one in. Oh, this is such a pain if you don't get the uh, pegs lined up. I think with this one, I can test at least two fans. So, get the power button. And there we go. There's one. I don't know how well that's... Uh, that's working all right, isn't it? All right as well, so that's good. Lay that one up there. You see, my theory is I should be able to just go like that without any problems. Plug another one on without any problems. Yes, another one working. It's actually quite quiet as well. Okay, so two more to do. Yep. So that's what I'm basically checking for, just to make sure they're not noisy, there's no bearings gone and that they do actually work. Because just because a fan looks okay doesn't mean that it is okay. Look at this little old black one. Ooh, quite a lovely breeze coming off that one. For something so small. It's 12 volt rated. Okay. So as fast as that, we're done. <laughs> That's the reason why I use this uh, modified power pack. up there, out the way. Yeah, so uh, I haven't done anything with this machine because I haven't got any hard drives left. Those two over there underneath the tea towel, we'll just move that, don't seem to work and these ones over here are too small. So, that might be a bit of an issue. I've sort of got plenty of, computer, of um, computers to do, but not enough hard drives. Could have done with a job lot of computers like that with all the hard drives and everything with it, but never mind. Data protection can't be helped, it's understandable, so I don't understand why they took all the memory out. And I've tried selling DDR memory on for, um nearly said Facebook. On eBay and I have struggled to shift it. The only why I shifted my last lot was to put it in as a jumbled job lot, including laptop DDR memory. Same with DDR2 actually, I was having trouble shifting that. Maybe because it was such a small amount. I had a few DDR2 laptop sticks, which I regret selling now because I do need them, but never mind. I didn't need them at the time when I sold them. Uh, and a few 512 megabyte DDR2 sticks and I could have done with them now as well. Never mind. I can buy some more again if I need them. See, I told you in the last video as well that that one was a low top one. I've got a couple more of those on another case in the bedroom. You can turn that off now, we don't need that one. Well, at least I know that I wasn't giving a load, giving, bleh, giving a load of dud stuff, so that's a plus. So, uh, yeah, I just want to make a short video, at least a short video for me. So, uh, that's it for this video. I've done what I wanted to do. We've tested a few bits I got the other night, so, as always, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. I almost forgot.
need to test the motherboard. Nearly forgot to do that. I want to find it. I need a need to uh, test the CMOS battery that I've got. The BIOS battery, or the clock battery, whatever the thing is called. I'm knackered tonight. I can't remember. Here's enough voltage on that just for this. It's not 100% and that'll do so. Thank you here. Something stuck to the bottom of the loop. So, uh, put that in there. I don't seem to see it in there properly. What? Oh, I see it's just the way the uh, holder's designed, that's all. In, I'm going to borrow the heat sink from this one. Ouch. I think I have to load the pin sometime. AMD cooler? Doing on an AMD cooler. Alright. Is this bulk bot borrowed? This board's a AMD motherboard. In. I have absolutely no idea if this board works. This is one I got from the uh, the um. Scrap pile at my friend's yesterday, so if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I haven't lost anything. Not lost anything, not gained anything, so. So I think I've won. No, it's not. That's why it's not doing it. I'm still not going. Ah! Did you, uh, did, just going to dig the oven? Oh, it is. Oh. Right. Let's move that one out of the way, because I know that one works. Okay, so. Hmm. 
Um, to uh, short across the round. Actually works. So what on earth they threw this out? I don't know. Perhaps I just upgraded. So 50/50 gamble with a scrap piece in. It worked out. Yeah. Yeah. See my state time not set, and see my check some bad. So yeah, I've got to do all that when using the motherboard. Well. I suppose there's one I could use, I don't know, the next P project, because it's got a half decent processor in it. I don't know what the maximum RAM capability of this would be without Googling the motherboard, but it's an Asus motherboard of some description, according to what came up on screen. So. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I wasn't, if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting it to work. Come on, turn off. There we go. Right. Let me switch back in the box. So, let's go to the bedroom as well. the cooler on this for now, I don't need to take it off right this minute. It's fine on there. It's not the best board, it's only got DDR memory on it and AGP graphics slot. Basically, all I can see is that it is a uh, upgraded motherboard for Windows XP because it's got two SATA ports here. Still got all the standard IDE ports. AMD Sempron, which is likely to be a single core processor. And all your other standard headers and things you'd get with a Windows XP type motherboard. Um, you might push Windows Vista on it, but I don't think I'd want to try it personally. Not with a DDR memory on it anyway. DDR2 maybe. But uh, I think Vista would be slow as hell on this if you tried it. And I don't think anybody likes Vista anyway. <laughs> I know I never did. I never bothered upgrading to Vista. I stuck with Windows XP until uh, Windows 7 came out. Then I decided to upgrade. I've been on Windows 7 ever since. Yeah, uh, a lot really to chat about on this motherboard. It is just a generic motherboard from the look of it. It's probably just as generic as that one in this case. This is running a different processor. Well, actually, that one's running an AMD as well, but uh, an older version to this one. So, yeah, I would probably say this is a newer version. Mm. I'm just checking the caps over and I can't see no puffed out tops, which is a good sign. And one of them dead motherboards I threw out did have a capacitor on it with a bulging top. And that's already what to practice soldering and whatnot, and it wasn't really worth fixing. So it was just an old generic board like this one. Not bad board though, I suppose. Not for some if someone wanted to play around with a computer like I do. No, if someone's learning 
with the computers. Learning about computers. Maybe uh, I could try on here by I suppose. It's got two choices, it'll either sell or it won't. It didn't cost me a penny, did it? Scrap sal there, dry lips. Scrap salvage anyway. Uh, that just basically out of all the computers I've got out of the 28, I've got those four up and running perfectly up there. I've still got the flat tower to look into. When I remember to look on eBay for another one, or parts. Whichever comes first and whichever's cheapest. And I've got four down there, well, three down there because I've got the Optiplex, which is. It's got what I call sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it just depends what mood it's in. Eh, I suppose I could keep these for projects. I mean, they're not really worth anything. But I can't say, you know, I've tried selling them on Gumtree and no one's wanted them, not even one interest, so. I'll probably strip this case out, I think, and get rid of it. Yeah, I could have used that one. I've still got the hard drive in it. I think that's the mistake I made. I thought this one was the one on the worktop. I'd forgotten I'd uh, been playing with another computer. What time I lay off? Do I need it on? Okay. The only other thing I've got left to test is those CD-ROM drives in it. We've already seen a video on me testing those, so not a lot of point really, is the so uh, oh, something stuck what me boot again. Get off a bit of tape or something. Stack this on the shelf. Put that safely up here. I will put that DDR2 back in my other machine at some point. Put them up there at the Y. So much crap in here, but none of it is worth anything. This is just crap. I think I've decided against selling my toy cars as well, but that's for another video. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> lost track of what I was doing, I mean, I was clearing up in here, wasn't I? Uh, um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Yeah, I think that's it for this video then. So, uh, you know what to do if you like it, you hit the like button. I knew I'd actually forget something as soon as I turned the camera off and testing that in my memory. So me or is that a bit warped? Hmm, it still works. Well, it's perfectly fine, actually. Oh well, it might be warped, but it obviously hasn't damaged any of the uh, traces. So, uh, yeah. Top of the range card back in the day. Well, probably not top of the range, but that would have been a decent one. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. As always, if you liked it, hit the like button. And if you didn't, you know what to do with the dislike button by now. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.